Today we've got a fossil preparation video and we're going to be preparing part of a fossilised crocodile skull which I've shown in a previous video. We'll have another look at it now so we know what it looks like and then I'll show you some of the preparation and what it took to actually get it looking as nice as it does. We've also got some fossil preparation of a big plesiosaur block with big limb bones and ribs and that just looks incredible. That's nowhere near actually being finished yet, but I've got quite a few minutes of footage of the preparation so far. So later on, at a future video, I'll show some more preparation of that as well. Let's have a look at the crocodile piece. We've got the back of a crocodile skull, a couple of ammonites swashed amongst it, got vertebrae, some ribs, and it's been quite heavily predated so the skull isn't complete, it's had the eye sockets and the rest of the skull all chewed off it. As you can see, there's quite a lot of grey, which is the limestone, and also a lot of green, which is pyrite, and that's very, very difficult to remove. So in this video we're going to be using one of our favourite pens to remove the pyrite and that's the T-Rex pen by Paleotech. That's been working wonders on the pyrite of quite a lot of our fossils so we're very pleased to have that as one of our tools. Let's watch the preparation footage now and I hope you enjoy the video.
We found a nodule here which contains an ammonite. At least it looks like it does. So I'm going to get my safety goggles on and let's chip it out. Right, so the next thing for us to do is to open it up. Nothing yet. Just the edge of a tiny one. So unfortunately, yeah, there wasn't a nice big one inside. There's a little one that we can prepare though. Yep.
of truth. Oh, wow. That's amazing. 